call this meeting to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation following. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear God, please bless our elected officials. Grant them the wisdom to know and the courage to do what is right for all citizens. Amen. 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 Roll call, please. Allen? Here. Green? Here. LaFour? Here. Ms. Stravich? Here. Rindell? Here. Ricks? Here. Warren? Here. Good to see everybody's here this evening. We have approval of the minutes for the City Council meeting of November 6th. Is there a motion? Motion. Support. What's been made and support? Any discussion on those minutes? Being not, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We also have the organizational meeting that was <coughs> held on November 13th. Is there a motion for those minutes? I'll make a motion. Support. support. Most been made and supported. Is there any discussion on those minutes? Um, I, there is. There needs to be a correction because I did not nominate Tim right. Ricks. I didn't, I didn't think so, and I questioned that. And yeah. it was. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought it was a nice gesture. Yeah. But yeah. In yeah. There. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure who did. I did. You did. Yeah. Okay. 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 Any other corrections? Changes. Being not, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We have no audience this evening, um, so we will uh, not be going to the audience, of course, unless somebody hops in here. So we'll get right to the agenda. Is there any changes, Mr. City Manager? No changes to the agenda, but uh, there was a bad version of the recreation activity report uh, the corrected version is in front of you on the table okay, very good is there anything council any changes to the agenda if not a motion to accept the agenda as presented be in order make a motion support any discussion all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye aye, aye. aye. against motion does pass is there a motion for the consent agenda Make a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Support. Most been made uh, to accept the consent agenda as presented. <clears throat> All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We move on to our items for consideration this evening, which we have two. The first one being consideration of the introduction and first reading of ordinance number 156-21, sign ordinance text amendment. Ms. City Manager. Council is scheduled to introduce and give first reading to Ordinance 156-20, which will amend the official zoning ordinance and amend the definition of animated copy on signs, uh, as well as clarify the cycle rate for changeable copy. Uh, the Planning Commission has reviewed this item both at their August meeting and then adopted the uh, ordinance change that's in front of you tonight at their last meeting, November 9th. Uh, with the proliferation of uh, more uh, higher technology signs, uh, we are seeing more uh, changeable copy signs that are able to be controlled uh, electronically versus going out and changing the letters manually. So uh, when we had first adopted our ordinance, zoning ordinance, uh, they really weren't uh, in use uh, as widespread as they are now. And so our ordinance limited the amount of times that it could change to once per hour. What we found over the years is that's a pretty unrealistic uh, expectation on businesses and those with those changeable copy signs. Uh, so after reviewing our ordinance and others uh, and taking a look at what's going on, uh, administration made the recommendation to Planning Commission to change that cycle rate from once an hour to once every 10 seconds. Uh, and our city planner, Troy uh, Jeske, is here if you have any questions. Okay. Is there a motion before discussion? I'll make a motion to introduce and give first reading to Ordinance 156-21, which amends the official zoning ordinance, and amend the definition of animated copy of signs, Article 25 definitions, as well as clarify the cycle rate for changeable copy, Article 13 signs. 
Support. Has been made and supported. Any discussion? Yeah, Mr. Mayor, I had a question. Uh, I was just wondering uh, on the 10 seconds, uh, this, I know traveling different speeds is 10 seconds seems like a short time, but it's actually quite a while, especially if you get into the higher rates of speed, if you get down in the, the 40 mile an hour zone or a 30 or 25. Um, I didn't know if there's a, a section where it could be changed quicker if it's in a faster zone, or I don't know if anybody ever question that or I know when we did the, the signage that we we're looking at putting at 32 in Main Street mm -hmm. I know that was part of the discussion we did there but and I think in general when you're looking at that you most often will be able to see multiple messages at locations where there's a traffic signal um, if you're trying to kind of keep your eye on the sign I think they prefer not at least from my understanding prefer not to have it changing more rapidly because it distracts drivers to kind of look and pay attention to trying to read the next message okay. um, and, and so I think that's part of the reason why it's kind of a more of a public safety okay. item but yet still when you're stopped at traffic you're going to be able to with the 10 second be able to see multiple messages makes sense I went down uh, after we talked about this at uh, Planning Commission I went down to St. Peter's and timed uh, their sign which I didn't find any problem with but some of the messages were averaging about four seconds and it didn't again I was sitting there watching so whether it's distracting or not when you're driving down the road some of them were a little bit longer none of them were 10 seconds long mm -hmm. now I didn't have a problem with it at all um, but maybe others do when I asked the question at Planning Commission where what are we basing the 10 seconds on it was kind of a general feeling rather than what is actually happening out there. We've gone with this ordinance for how long, you know, and for it the was once per supposed hour. to be, you know, one per hour. Yes. Um, I don't think whether we put 10 seconds on there, I don't know that we're really going to be out there and being the 10-second the, uh, police or whatever. So um, I'm okay with it uh, as, as it stands, but... Again, I did not find anything wrong with the, the four or five second multiple displays that I was getting while I was sitting watching the, the one down at that end of town. And I just timed, uh, I went uh, 10 seconds, 30 miles an hour out here. Uh, I went from BB on 32, I went from BB to just the other side of North Forest in 10 seconds. So, there was plenty of time for a sign to change that I mean I, I felt I went quite a distance where I could have seen more messages uh, without it being a problem um, but again that's uh, I don't think we're gonna be the out there timing all this stuff any other conversation on this issue Yes, Mr. Mayor. So you said you were okay with it the way it is now, or you want to? Okay, I, I can new ten seconds. I can live with the ten seconds. We can always bring it back and and, yeah. and change it. But uh, um, I didn't see a problem with the four to five seconds down there. I, I didn't go to any other signs. I don't know what Foster signs doing. Um, yeah, I just happened to be down that down at that end of town and decided to pull in. Before we bring this back for second reading, would you prefer us to do more research, or that might not be a bad idea? I, I mean, so. the more and more of these signs we're seeing here in town, I mean, it's be before it was maybe just one or two, but you start even as you head to the south end of the uh, down there, at Muttonville, you're seeing more of it. And if I haven't done the research like the mayor has here, but if sounds like he's looked into it enough, where there's a concern as opposed to bringing it back and changing a resolution and all mm -hmm. that you know before we do second reading maybe uh, take a, all of us maybe take a little bit better look at it now you brought it to our attention okay we're not in any big hurry here right as far as any of this goes right now I mean a month or so or in probably within you know, if, if we hold it off from the next meeting and put it one meeting after that, the second reading, that'll give us plenty of time to take a look at what other communities have uh, and also any research on, you know, I know, I know our ordinance specifically, we were talking about not allowing the animated copy that mm -hmm. it is distracting. I, and, and we can certainly look at that if council would prefer to allow animation too. Yeah. But 
Um, I would have to believe there has got to be a traffic study for safety reasons on this somewhere. I don't know. Troy? Yeah. Go to Troy. So. Troy, any idea? Is there any particular study on any of this? Um, well, obviously, animation, uh, things that cycle flash are considered. Um, taking away your attention from the road. Mm -hmm. However, there are, as you've seen along 94 even, there are billboards that flash. So it's kind of the Wild West right now. There aren't a lot of uh, documented Excuse me. things, but, um, and the same with community sign ordinances they're kind of all over the place yeah. at least the ones that i looked at and i'll continue to look for more mm -hmm. and it's certainly the planning commission or city council's purview to override the planning commission and recommend a change of what they have recommended to you yeah. so uh, whether it's 10 seconds five seconds uh, that's certainly within the city council's purview. Maybe I'm missing John's background. Where did the 10 second, was that a, a accumulation of looking at other Correct. ordinances from other yeah. communities? And, and there's no one, uh, as Troy Set mentioned, number. they're all kind of over. So some are 10, some are over, more than that, some are under. So, okay. you know, there's no. Kind of like splitting the difference between what you guys researched then? Right. Uh, yeah had to do more with the size of the community okay. the bigger the community the shorter and more um, laissez-faire they were mm -hmm. yeah. the smaller communities typically were more restrictive and I think it had to do with more kind of the traditional downtowns trying right. to protect them mm -hmm. from and that's what I've noticed the more and more real flashy here yeah. uh, uh, animated cartoons on right. the side of a historic building so mm -hmm. yeah because that mcdonald's one really lights up down there when you go yes. by there i mean you can notice that thing from st a's and know? that's part of what brought this is uh, i mean not just that one but there's a lot that are going up that aren't kind of following the rules right. and the once per hour is unrealistic so we were trying to get that down to yeah. one that would be more realistic to enforce yeah i appreciate that i know that i just commented on that mcdonald's one yeah, yesterday yeah. that really pops out at you well and that would be a concern too is even though we could drive by there's no accidents or whatever with it being fast how much do we I mean we've worked so hard at preserving our historic turn of the century look that do we want these scrolling signs which I think right now are banned is that my understanding of this yeah. ordinance that a scrolling Anything sign is that scrolls flashes or rotates uh, Basically, any, anything that is animated uh, more than once per hour as of right now is prohibited. So I guess the point would be that it would just kind of just change. Correct. So then it wouldn't yeah. be as much of a taking away from that historic turn of the century look, too. I mean, that would be something to take into consideration as we think about this. So then this would be consistent throughout all business districts, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Yes. Uh, our sign ordinance is independent of the actual zoning classification, okay. so it applies equally to all non-residential uh, districts. So if we wanted to change it to five seconds, let's say, as opposed mm -hmm. to, you know, Mayor was saying four seconds, let's say five. Would it be best for us to take it back to the planning commission or could should we no i think that's within your uh, as the city planner mentioned you certainly can but I mean, just, um, uh, they've made their they recommendation and and you can certainly uh, with additional information from us change that at the second reading and adoption yeah because the ultimate ordinance is adopted by city council not the planning commission I think what Mike was saying, though, out of respect for the yes, Planning Commission, yeah. the work they do, right. not to override the work that they've done into exactly. it. Exactly. Thank you. I mean, although I know we have Mayor Ricks and then city managers on the Planning Commission, do you th with your opinion, do 
you think that they would be okay if we said, hey, we agree with everything, but we think 10 seconds might be a little bit too long. We'd like to shorten it. Mm -hmm. So that, that we can, for the second reading, we could approve it with that condition and have them understand because, as Rob said, that was my concern, is that they do so much work for us, give us good recommendations. I don't want to kind of look like we're going against a recommendation without some explanation. I would have to say that like many of our boards and commissions, they make recommendations. We're here to determine what's best for, for our community and make that final decision is the way I look at it. One of the things, if you're concerned about that, one of the things you can do is put off the second reading. Is there any time limit on the second reading? No. So if you put the uh, second reading, the we meet in, are we going to meet in December? Uh, yes. Okay. We, um, I, we planning, planning commission, commission is what? Yes, right. the planning commission is meeting in December. There's a item that we had forgotten that needs to come back for our December. So we're going to meet, uh, we, the, the planning commission is going to meet on the 14th. So city council could wait until after the holiday and, um, which um, would be, I think it's the third or the? Is that, that's Tuesday. wrong, isn't it? Our, the community calendar says it's the third, but didn't I correct this once before? Don't we come back to work on the site, or doesn't city come back to work on the day after New Year's Day? No, no. Due, due to New Year's Eve, it was, you corrected it when we adopted our meeting schedule to, oh, to okay. this. Yeah, this because, is correct. Though. Yes, okay. we get New Year's Day off because New Year's Eve day is a Sunday, it goes to the following week. Okay. So we get Tuesday off as well. Okay, so it'd we, be the third. We could, uh, if the council wanted to change this to whatever, something less or more than 10 seconds, then if it's a concern, uh, it could go back on the 14th meeting December 14th of the uh, Planning Commission and come back to us for a second reading on Wednesday the 3rd of January if you so cared to or the 15th of January whatever you want to do like I say I don't think we're going to be out there we're not going to be the five second right. place out there we haven't been on the one hour so um, I think it's the idea is we'd like you to comply as close as possible to to our ordinance um, and I don't have a real problem with I just think 10 seconds is is from what I see it's too long but again I don't think we're gonna be going out there it'd be redundant but I don't think we're gonna go out there and stand on the corner and count all these signs and see who's changing their sign five seconds longer than what they're supposed to be so it's whatever council would like to see happen here I think we shoot for that and bring it back on the third of January meeting okay I think so I agree yes I agree concur I agree okay any other conversation on this and then we have a motion um, Rob you made the motion do you uh, want to send it back at something other than 10 seconds um, I guess we can amend the motion to say, um, oh, basically know. under reviewing. Well, I'm, I'm asking, um, you don't need to amend, oh. officially I'm amend. Okay. I'm asking you as the motion maker, For do you want to no. add to your motion or not? No, no, I don't think I need to. Okay. Okay, so it's going to go as is then. Well, I thought, well, if I, if I add to it, or, or not amend it, but I add to it, or mm -hmm. you know, I want to bring it back for review, I guess, I, okay. is what I'm looking for. I don't know how, to, how you want that clarified in the motion, though. I thought the uh, consensus of council was to do that, and I, I would yeah. go along, keep that motion as a consensus of council. We can send it for uh, administrative review. Correct. We'll, we'll have the first reading. We've had the f introduction and first reading administration due to the consensus of council we'll take it back to the planning commission for a look at that okay Ten second second. and bring it back on the third okay. I'm, I'm good with that okay very good any other discussion on the motion all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye aye, aye. 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 against motion does pass okay. 
We thought it was going to be a short meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Item number two, consideration of approving resolution number 2017-15, compliance with PA-152, Mr. City Manager. Council is scheduled to consider adopting resolution 2017-15, which is a resolu resolution electing to comply with the provisions of Public Act 152 of 2011. Uh, Public Act 152 of 2011 offers uh, three different options for local municipalities on how to handle health care costs and their share uh, between the city and the employee. Uh, since the uh, passage of Public Act 152, the city has always opted out of uh, either the hard cap or the 80-20 split, uh, and administration is recommending again that we opt out uh, this year, uh, as we discussed during uh, contract negotiations this year, as well as uh, discussions with our non-affiliated employees, uh, we are opting out, then increasing uh, their cost share uh, from 6% to 8% uh, of their health care. Thank you, sir. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to... Approving a resolution 2017-15, electing to comply with the provisions of Act Public Act 152 of 2011 by exercising the city's rights to exempt itself from the requirements of the Act for the next succeeding health care plan year. Support. What's been made and supported? Is there any discussion? Yes, Mr. Mayor, we've been doing this for the last number of years and I think it's the best thing that's doing we have a lot of uh, interaction and compliance with our city employees and I think it's the best thing to do we've compromised and we've done what I think is the best interest of the city and our employees I agree wholeheartedly Michael anybody else you're not all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye aye, aye. against motion does pass Okay, city manager's comments, sir. Uh, tomorrow I'll be speaking at the Rotary Club. Uh, they've asked me to come and just give an update on what's going on in the city. I usually do it both at the Rotary and Lions Club throughout the year, uh, usually once a year, so tomorrow is uh, Rotary's turn. Uh, the capstone for the DPW wall, uh, we expect to be uh, delivered tomorrow and for them to start uh, doing the finished work on the top of the wall. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Jim Gutzinger will be meeting with some representatives from MDOT uh, to take a look at some of the manholes that we've expressed concern on. And they also did get out today and start some of the striping. So I know uh, many of the concern areas as far as the uh, arrows down at Main and Gratiot have been corrected, at least temporarily, until uh, they come and complete their project next year. Mm -hmm. uh, as we've discussed, MDOT has re decided to suspend the project and leave it as is until next spring and we're working with them to kind of understand what that means for our residents and businesses and uh, we'll be having further discussions with them on that issue very good okay council comments Rob. Uh, i was going to say nice seal stripes on the road because once they're gone they would truly miss that oh boy uh, so yeah. it's good to see them out there working today and just everyone have a happy and blessed thanksgiving Mm -hmm. John? Nothing. Emily? Nothing tonight, thank you. Amy? Nothing tonight, sir. Dennis? Yep, just happy holidays and just be, uh, wish everybody a safe travels and all their adventures. So. Michael? I concur. Just uh, encourage everybody to come out to the city tree lighting at the Odd on Friday, December 1st at uh, 7 o'clock. Very good. Okay. Um, I will go to the calendar here. Today being the 20th of November, we have a TIFA meeting uh, this Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. And of course, uh, City Hall, Library, and Community Centers will be all closed for Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, that would be Thursday and on Friday and Saturday. City Hall and, and Library and Community Center will open back up on Monday as normal schedule on the 27th. The last day of waste, uh, yard waste collection is the 28th of November. Unless we find something differently, that will be the last day that you will get your yard waste picked up by our, uh, our uh, waste management. That would take us through to the uh, 
December 4th would be our next regular city council meeting. And of course I have some, this is getting very popular. <laughs> <laughs> Bear with me here on uh, all these advertisements we have for the holidays. Uh, let's see, the Lois Wagner Memorial Library will have a Santa visit uh, with Mrs. Claus. You can bring your camera and take photos. It's for children of all ages on Friday, December 8th from 6 to 7 p.m. There's also the, the annual Christmas uh, cookie sales going on at the same time. An annual fundraiser, 23rd annual fundraiser. The Richmond Community Choir will be presenting their annual Christmas concert on December 1st at 7 o'clock and then on Sunday, December 3rd at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And that will be, uh, the concert will be over at the uh, Richmond High School Auditorium. And that's December 1st and December 3rd. We talked about the uh, Christmas cookie. That's done. The mitten tree at the Lois Wagner Memorial Library uh, is going on from November 6th through December 18th. You stop over to the library. The Richmond Lions Club will be handing out uh, anything that's collected uh, on the mitten tree. And uh, another annual thing that is done in Richmond. Hall walking is still going on every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at the middle school. That's put on by our Parks and Recreation Department. And there is a $1 charge. And for any uh, more information, please call 727-3064. We have a new one here. We have uh, Black Friday Bottle Drive. Um, it's being held by the Richmond Blue Devil Trap Shooting Team out of the uh, Richmond Community Schools. And all you need to do is put your empties out on your porch or you can call Sandy at 810-841-0438 or Sherry at 586-295-4427 for a pickup. Our annual community tree lighting and Santa parade will be held Friday, December 1st at the uh, Odd on Main Street, the youth regional complex. The tree lighting uh, Christmas carols at the Odd start at 630. There will be hot chocolate and light refreshments. Santa arrives uh, approximately 7 o'clock, and Little Miss Richmond will light up the tree at approximately 7 o'clock. There will be uh, pictures uh, will be taken. And anybody that would like to be in the Santa Parade, it is a drive-only parade, can call 727-3064, again, our Parks and Recreation Department. That parade will be lining up at the Kmart Plaza. You don't have to be registered prior to that. And that parade will start at 6.30, as mentioned, from the Kmart Plaza. And that's what I have on there. Um, there is no, uh, is there any other business of the City Council this evening? And we wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and be very thankful for uh, what we have here in our community. Motion to adjourn would be in order. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Support. Motion's been made and supported. There's no discussion on the motion. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against. Motion passes. Aye.